Hey everyone, I'm Chelsea from Unger Academy, and today I'm here with Massimiliano, a successful student from Unger Academy. Further on, we'll get into um, what we mean by successful students. Hi, Massimiliano, welcome. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, Chelsea, for uh, this invitation and the opportunity to, uh, that you want to give me in this interview. So tell us a little bit about yourself. What do you do in life and what are you involved in? So I do something in life that is, well, entirely different now uh, in the sense that I like the world of trading and I'd like it to become my profession one day, uh, something that I could study, have fun with and also make a living with. However, now, uh, now this isn't the case because, well, it's a very engaging hobby. Uh, but it is still a hobby. Uh, currently, I work in a company that deals with corporate, uh, with corporate finance. And in short, well, now I'm still doing this job. Um, and I, I come a little bit from Andrea's world because Andrea is an engineer, right, who studied at Milan's Polytechnic. And I also worked at the Polytechnic for about 27 years. And maybe there is something left in our DNA imprint. Now, of course, I dare not compare myself with him, but let's say that we come from the same world. So I started to approach the world of trading about 15 years ago. And you know, trading is a big term under which there is everything. In the beginning, uh, after reading a few books, I obviously started off as a discretionary trader. Yeah. And what happened as a discretionary trader? Well, you see, there are, you're always afraid with when trading because there are no certainties and even if you do everything on demo with what i like to call monopoly money everything well everything's pretty easy however when you start to trade with your own money i can assure you that the emotional part is well over 50 percent because when you see prices going up and down and then up and down again you start wondering will this be the right time to open the trade will this be the time to close it and that's a, a hamletic doubt that's always there. And so what's going on? Well, like many people, I started with scalping. Then if it didn't go well, it became trading. And if it didn't go well, it, beca it became position trading. And if it didn't go well again, I kept the positions open for a lot of time. Because if you were capitalized enough, you can keep them open even for months. Because, you know, sometimes the market returns to those prices if, uh, if touched. So you can recover. However, to do this, well, you have two choices. Either trading with a very large capital that allows you to keep positions open for a long time or trading with very small positions. And to do the latter, well, you can do it on the micro futures where you can uh, play it with less money, but not on all markets. Then, of course, you win and lose, right? Because the discretionary method, in my opinion, is only suitable for very few people in the world because it takes a deep sensitivity to the markets. In addition, since I was also working at the Polytechnic, I couldn't trade the markets during my working hours, so I missed many European market phases. And that's why I worked more with the American markets, because after the end of my working day, the American exchanges are still open. So in short, I always stayed up until about midnight, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, and that was not very healthy. So then at some point, I stopped and I started looking for other ways. And I began to approach the world of systematic trading because I saw that it offered more opportunities. The first one was that it's based on a serious method that essentially eliminates the emotional part. Because the moment you find a method, you have to follow it through. You found something that works, right? Well, I mean, you have to look at yourself in the mirror, okay? Either you have uh, split personality issues, or you obviously stick to that method. And, well, since it's automated, well, it also allows me to well, have a portfolio of strategies that work for me all the time, like right now, like right now while I'm talking to you. So you can do two things at the same time. You can have a job and be a trader because if you've done your homework well, well, you're also getting results with those strategies. Uh, since the beginning of the year, my portfolio is gaining about 15% and it's composed of indexes and commodities. So there's gold, there's platinum, there's gasoline, there's lean hogs. In short, it's well diversified. And that's also very important because when you trade with a, a totally correlated portfolio, 
If things don't go well for your strategies, you risk losing a lot of money. So diversification is really uh, one of the most uh, one of the most important things. And what problem did you have in terms of trading uh, before you started training at the Younger Academy? What were you looking for? Uh, well, I was looking for, uh, let's say, not random ideas, but possibilities, opportunities, uh, insights. Because to research new trading opportunities manually, that is with pen and paper, it's a crazy job. In the sense that backtesting an idea uh, without computer support can take you weeks only to find out that the idea was wrong. Yeah. And from the very beginning, I've been uh, reading Larry Williams' great books. Uh, and it's this uh, gentleman who's still perhaps one of the greatest traders ever. Because nobody has managed to make an 11,000% gain in the championship yet. And well, this gentleman recorded the inefficiencies on pen and paper at the time. And you know, I mean, we were in the, uh, the 1980s, the early 1980s. So you can imagine the work was gigantic. And back then, he didn't have the possibility that I have today, which is to use multicharts and easy language to code my ideas, whether they're right or crazy, and uh, see if they hold up. And then from there, uh, look for price patterns, you know, add biases, uh, see the best hours of the day, and look for the sustainability of the trading system. And I mean, yeah, that's certainly no small value add. And before switching to this world, I didn't know that it was very crucial, and I recommend it to everyone. Obviously, it's a long road. It's an economic investment because those of you who have done what I did and joined the academy, which provides students with the, the knowledge and the hard work of Andrea, our coaches, the whole group, and in short, the entire excellent team, it means a lot. It means finding yourself with, quote unquote, a ready-made meal. But then you have to process it. You have to study it. You have to personalize it. And you have to test it. In short, you have to make it your own. So the part that's changed the most is the transition from paper to leveraging technology. Yeah, exactly. The transition to systematic trading allows you to trade faster anyway. And in the same week, you can try five ideas instead of taking five weeks to test one. And then if you do it right and believe in what you're doing, you can even use a, a cell phone to monitor your portfolio and live your life so that you're not tied to the monitor for 10 hours a day. And, and that's no small thing either. And what made you decide to join Unger Academy out of all the training programs on the market? Oh, having a person who's won the World Cup trading championships four times should already be enough. Uh, because the championship it's a, is a third party that judges your performance. And it's a whole different thing compared to people who post pictures of airplanes and villas. And when you ask them for a broker statement, they don't give it to you. In my job, the person judging you must be a third party, not a friend of yours. And also the championship is done with real money. So there's little shenanigans there. And if you're first, hey, you're first. If you're fifth, you're fifth. If you're last, you're not even featured in the standings. So having such a pragmatic person like Andre, who has won the championships four times, is really great. And before I decided to join the academy, I also watch videos on YouTube where Andre gives many tips uh, and talks about his approach and his method. And he really made me realize the reliability of the person. And of course, the professionalism of the whole working group. A person who nevertheless talks calmly, explains things to you, uh, doesn't make too many fireworks, which is useless, uh, again, showed a pragmatic side, which is also mine. And I said, okay, okay, this is a person that I can trust without a shadow of a doubt. And at the end of this, this whole journey this year, well, I also signed up for the World Cup Trading Championships with real money. I mean, I, I, I do this for fun, of course. I mean, I have no ambitions, but at some point, it's also a measuring tool because, as I said, there is a third party judging you. Um, 
and it started well, you know, in the sense that by the end of January, when the rankings were published, I was first with, uh, I think, a, a positive 58% gain or something like that. And I stayed in the top five until the end of February, March. And then the trading system I used uh, went into equity control. Uh, and going back to what I was talking about earlier, having equity control is crucial. Because, listen, there's no point in letting the systems run free. That system started not performing. So I went into equity stock. And now it's starting to recover. And I don't show up today in the rankings, but as you know, the championship lasts uh, one year. So it's a, it's a marathon, not a 100-meter dash. And if the trading systems that I put in place and the market starts working in a certain way, hey, I might even finish, in the, uh, finish the year in the top five. And wow, that would be, well, a great satisfaction for me. And how does what you learned at Unger Academy help you in the championships? Well, the key is the method. And we said the method is crucial. So I love that fact that I'm afraid that I can check out the markets and my strategies when I want, that I know that my trading systems have rules anyway. There is a stop loss and a take profit, which of course I've optimized uh, in the in-sample part and then implemented in the out-of-sample before I deposited the money and signed up for the championship. And also, you know, I like also having an equity control that tells me when to stop or tells me when to restart my systems. And I follow it unwaveringly because every time I've taken decisions, other from what the equity control suggested, you know, going back to that, uh, that discretionary soul of mine, well, it's often been a disaster, meaning that the system was correct. So it's better to follow the good instructions that you receive from the academy, from your courses, which, as I said, teach you a method. A method that is priceless. It is invaluable because it's an, an, an academic, uh, scientific method. So already these two terms fulfill everything. I mean, they are the very opposite of discretion. Okay, so besides the championship, how has your trading changed after your experience with Unger Academy? Well, it has become more selective, uh, more methodical, and with less uncertainty. I now trade with a portfolio that I think is very well balanced, you know, where the equity bundle of the strategies has a positive slope. So this means that when a system occasionally underperforms, there's another one that outperforms in a continuous positive relay of all systems. Now, clearly, equity control does the lion's share of the work, meaning that the same portfolio would probably perform worse without equity control. And, yeah, if you don't have a method, well, it's, it's psychologically difficult. But if you have a system that, over a year's time, sometimes wins and sometimes loses, and then sometimes wins, and then sometimes loses a lot. Well, that is stressful. <laughs> Instead, with equity control, when you start losing too much, you stop the system and use the other ones in the portfolio. And that's also very important because otherwise you're going to be tormented by this constant expectation that didn't materialize. And if you are discretionary, well, you can't measure that. Your bank account measures it. And that's not good. <laughs> Instead, there must be a method that says, hey, if you lost a lot at a certain point, hey, that is it. And whether you do that with the Bollinger Bands or something else, you know, everybody chooses their equity control, but it's imperative to stick to it. And that was a significant change in the way I trade. Where do you think you'd be right now if you hadn't chosen to train with us? Oh, well, I'll still be trying to do scalping and then keep positions open a lot. Really? Uh, probably, yes. But because that's the human nature, isn't it? Because one of the hardest things about trading is admitting that you were wrong. And that's a human trait. I mean, everybody says that. You know, when you trade, you always end up letting the losses run and cutting the profits. 
unbelievable, I know. But that is the way it is. When you're losing, you say, well, oh, now it's, it's going to recover. Yeah. In five minutes, it'll recover. Uh, by tomorrow, it will recover. And, yeah, you eventually lose. Instead, when you're earning something, you take it home immediately. Now, why do you do that? I mean, if you believe that your idea is right, you have to let it run. Switching to systematic trading has allowed me to take away that discretion. And if the profit target is $2,800 and the stop loss is $1,200, and then you tolerate the $1,200 because you know the $2,800 will come. And that's also priceless. Of course, you have to stick to that because if you close when you're in the profit of $1,500, yeah, you're going back to your discretionary approach. If the system can achieve the $2,800 target, you have to believe that it will reach $2,800. Because when you look at it afterwards, you see that you hit the $1,200 stops, but you've also made the gain. So again, you have to keep your urge to click under control. Because after all, we have that urge when we look at the trades, don't we? For sure. Okay, let me ask you one last question. Uh, what would you say to those who are watching this interview and are still undecided about whether to join Unger Academy? Oh, I highly recommend it. And I also want to say thank you for the time that you gave me uh, to tell my story because I hope that it will be helpful to someone uh, so that they don't repeat the same mistakes that I made. I'm talking about, of course, the idea of approaching the world of trading without having studied. Of course, everyone chooses what they think is good. You know, what they've studied or what they like. But really, thinking of pressing that famous button without having any foundation, I, I think I'd sincerely go to the casino first. I mean, the statistics are 50-50, and I can say that with certainty. So, what I recommend Considering that I started with some smaller programs and then completed the full program, is to start with what I call, please don't hate me, Andrea, uh, <laughs> the basic course. And that covers all the different patterns because, well, that's, in my opinion, those are the A, B, Cs. And Andrea explains very well how to choose the patterns that win, given his experience. And since he's won the championships four times, yeah, I would say he deserves all the attention in the world. And even there, they come from studies, from statistics, uh, from back tests, from codes. So you can first make that uh, first purchase. Listen to the program. Listen to it several times. And listen to it in general. And when I took your volatility program, and others that I did with, with other people whose uh, other models I appreciate uh, as much. I listened to them several times. Because each time you learn something new, something perhaps you'd overlooked, I took notes. Because if you take notes and you go through them, well, you can start putting them into practice. So after the first program, it often doesn't stop there. A world opens for you. And you want to take all the other training programs. And you want to go all the way until you can code an easy language and put your systems on a platform. I mean, you want to see if your ideas work. Even when you adapt them from the ideas, from the templates, and of course, the systems that Andrea shares. So, I'd suggest that if you want to be profitable, if you want to start earning money, either as part of your savings or as a profession, joining Unger Academy is an important step towards seriousness, towards professionalism and clarity. And that's also because of their availability. Because, hey, let's face it, there is also a community where you can exchange ideas with each other. You can ask questions and get answers to those questions. It's never, oh, well, I don't have time. Uh, I'll get back to you in a month. And that's also important to maintain, uh, let's say, customer satisfaction. Knowing that there's a group to talk to and where you can also compare ideas, it's an important part of the whole training. Because you watch the videos, you learn things, you apply them. 
but there can always be moments when you miss something. And in those cases, I know I can ask and get a serious, consistent, precise, and helpful answer. And that is also very, very important as an added value from you. So my advice is, if you don't want to continue relying on, let's say, fate, Unger Academy, definitely the first step. And then from there, hey, you know, you'll choose the further step. Possibly the championship right? as well. So there is absolutely no doubt about that. So Massimiliano, thank you very much for your time. And I speak for the entire academy, including Andrea, when I wish you victory in this year's trading championship. Well, it would certainly be a nice end of the year gift. <laughs> but as I said, I'm just participating and that's fine. Otherwise, I will sign up in 2024, 2025 and continue. I'm persistent. Great. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Chelsea. Thank you.